Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow chickpea in Aero Garden Harvest. I tried placing the seeds directly in the sponges but the seeds got mold and they never germinated. So I will prepare the sprouts and transplant them into Aero Garden. Preparing the chickpea sprouts is very easy. In this process, first I will soak the seeds for 24 hours. The seeds have been soaking for 24 hours. I will dump the water and rinse the seeds thoroughly. Next step is to place the seeds in a bowl and keep it aside for 2-3 to three days. We can do this in many ways. Sprouting jar is most preferred. I don't have the sprouting jar, but I have these mixy jars with lids that has tiny holes. So I am using this. Otherwise, we can just wrap the seeds tight in any cotton cloth such as cheesecloth. Sprouts will be ready in 2-3 to three days in all these methods. The last option is, we can place the seeds in a Ziploc bag and keep it in refrigerator. But this method takes time anywhere from 5-10 to 10 days. Once the seeds are transferred to the jar, keep it upside down leaving some room for airflow. Then place a towel on top of it to keep the seeds in dark. It's been one day. I can see a few little sprouts. I will rinse the seeds and put them back. These are the seeds in refrigerator. No signs of sprouting yet. It's day 2. Sprouts are coming very nice. But they are not ready to transplant yet. I will wait one more day. These are the seeds in refrigerator. Few seeds just started sprouting. It's day 3. Bunch of seeds sprouted very well and ready to transplant to Aero Garden. I am picking the sprouts with a long root. I am opening the sponge a little bit so that I can place the sprouts very well. Now place the sponge into the basket and wrap the pod with aluminum foil to block the light. Blocking the light is very important to prevent algae, mold, fungus, etc. Alright, the garden is ready with 6 pots. I will add water and nutrition and let it go. I will use just Aero Garden nutrients throughout the cycle. These are the sprouts in refrigerator. More seeds sprouted. They are coming but they are coming very slow. I may need to wait another 4 to 5 days to use these sprouts. But I don't need them anymore. I am just showing you different options to sprout the seeds. It's been 2 days. I see little seedlings in 2 pods. It's day 8. I see the seedlings in all pods. Day 10. Seedlings are growing pretty fast. I see multiple leaves on all seedlings. Day 12. Plants are about 4 inches tall and I see new branches are being developed on all seedlings. One good thing with chickpea plants is, these leaves are edible and they taste really good. Many times I grow these plants just for the leaves. I usually just pick them and eat. But we can use them in salads, sandwiches and smoothies. I also prepare curries when I get the leaves in bulk. Day 18, plants are growing very nice and all plants are developing multiple branches. Day 21, all is going very well. Day 24, plants are growing nice and getting bushy. I am harvesting some leaves to use them in my salad. Day 36, plants are growing nice and big. I see one plant is struggling a little bit. Some leaves are drying up. I don't see any issues with the root system. I am not sure what's going on with this plant. Anyways, looks like the other plants are doing well and they started producing flower birds. I see a few of these flower birds. Day 44, some flower birds started blooming. This is very exciting. Day 45, I see the first flower today. 
Some more flower birds started blooming. Day 47, first flower closing now. It is turning into bean pod now. Plants have bunch of flowers. These flowers doesn't need any pollination. Like many other beans, these are self-pollinating. So we don't need to worry about pollinating them manually. Day 52, lots of flowers all over the plants. I see the first chickpea pod. This is very exciting. Plants are super bushy and touching the lights. Some branches outgrew the lights, but most of the branches are under the lights. So it is all working out very well so far. Day 53, look at all these beautiful flowers all over the plants. And here is the first chickpea pod. This looks amazing. Even though the pods looking big enough, the chickpeas inside the pod will take time to grow big enough. Day 58, now I see the chickpea pods all over the plants. Day 61, bunch of chickpea pods are growing very nice. Unfortunately, one of the plants is almost died, but the rest are all doing fine. Day 68, look at all these beautiful chickpea pods, but they are not ready to harvest yet. Once the chickpeas are ready, we will see the pod is pretty hard. Here we can see the chickpea inside the shell, not clearly though, but the dark pod inside the shell is the chickpea. Since I have lots of leaves, I am harvesting them to make the curry. Day 79, some chickpea pods are ready to harvest and I am harvesting them. Just press the pods gently and see if they are hard. If they are hard, they are ready to harvest. Look at these seeds. Time to taste. Wow! Amazing taste. The moment we put it in the mouth, we taste little bit of saltiness. Then some sweetness. Overall, amazing taste of this fresh green chickpea. Here is another well-developed green chickpea. This is how exactly I check the pods. I am gently pressing the pod and I can feel that it is very soft. But if I press the matured one like this, I can feel it very hard. This is because the chickpea inside the shell occupied it all over. My kids are so busy opening the pods and competing with each other to collect the seeds. It's time to enjoy them. I like it. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's really good. It's crunchy and it yes. tastes so good. It, it's crunchy and it tastes yummy. Mmm, nice. Mm. You wonder these are so salty, you know them? Mm-hmm. But they're actually great. Ah. Okay. Yeah, really great. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good to hear. What are we? Day 80. I am harvesting some more chickpeas. Day 90. Looks like the plants have reached the end of the life. They are not healthy as before. I am harvesting all the chickpea pods and call it done. Here is my final harvest. Overall, I enjoyed this experiment. The amount of chickpeas I got is very little, but it is a lot of fun watching them grow, opening the pods, eating them fresh out of the pods. It is a lot of fun for the kids. I also enjoyed eating the leaves fresh out of the plants. So give it a try if you want to have some fun with aero gardening. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Happy aero gardening.